See, if you want to change the course of your life and get what you want 100%, you must take action towards change and influence the momentum. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do it and manifest 100% what you want. You want it, you get it. For a couple cards and to book a reading with me, you can find all the information down below. So now let's get it and start your reading. Ah, and if you're cool, subscribe. So here is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. To help you select, I'm gonna turn the cards and show you so you can decide which one is calling you. Maybe the colors, illustration, or message. Take your time. You can also meditate if you want, open your heart to receive what is going to manifest for you. Today, as always, I'm gonna be shuffling with you. I have the runes ready, charms, messages, and also the stickers today. So this way it's gonna be very detailed and complete. So when you're ready, you can add a timestamp in the video directly or down below in the description. So let's meditate together. Breathe in. And breathe out. Relax and choose wisely. So group number one, the message is my true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. So in order for you to attract what you want, you need to align, to surrender, to connect with the universe so it can be manifesting all your wishes. But we'll see with the energy and the other cards. So I'm going to start with these two. So first, <laughs> which is a beautiful card, we have the star. And honestly, when I was shuffling the cards yesterday, I was like, this is so connected to this reading because this reading is all about what you want and also what you will get. And the star is also about it, manifesting your dreams, all that you want, all that you claim for, all that you're really seeking for in life. This is what you are attracting. And this is because you become a magnet of the same energy. You become stronger and stronger and this allows you to also manifest it in your reality and to enjoy all that you attract. So this is what the star is announcing, your attraction, the magic manifesting, all that your dreams are connected to and claiming for and asking for, you are calling that energy and manifesting this energy into your universe. I see balance needed too and the star card is also representing Aquarius energy which is a very giving energy to me. So in order to also manifest what you want, you know, to get it, you need to also provide. So ask yourself, what is something that I'm really talented about? What people come to me for because they see that talent within me or the value that, you know, I share with whether my services or my words, my attitude, my personality, my vibe. So ask yourself, what is really valued and seen so you can keep on providing that because all that you provide and give it comes back to you in so many forms of abundance and actually a lot more than what you actually provide so this is what i do see here in order for you to get all that you wish for ask yourself what can you provide back it's an exchange everything is an is an exchange so if you want that to be offered to you you have a part to play in that offering in that magic so become the star shine so bright and also provide that you know positive energy as well so more can come your way everything is just a magnet of each other everything is a mirror in this reality is going to show you more and more about yourself, about what you provide, about what you create and who you embody. So the start is pretty much with you. Becoming the person that can receive those miracles but also can embody the miracle herself or himself. So let's see with the next one. But so far, magic, all that you want, all that you think about especially, is going to manifest. But I see motion, so action is going to be needed for you to get what you desire. You know, it's not just about wishing for it, it's about acting to get that. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. So balance is going to be needed for you to attract what you desire. That is super, super important. And that means a balanced mind, a balanced heart, a balanced soul, and physical as well. And that means taking action physically or thinking mentally about the plan, the projects, all that you wish for, because the clearer your direction is, the clearer the path is going to be. And that means if you know what you want, you're going to actually have the strength and endurance to get there. But if you do not really have a vision or if you just aimlessly you know, working towards something or not even thinking about what you want, then it's going to be a bit harder for you to get there. So balance is going to be needed. 
And this is you finding harmony within you and within, you know, your life and relationships as well. Because you know that balance around you, within you and outside of you, you know, with people is really the fundamental, um, like the, the what is building the miracle pretty much. And if you don't have that, then this can create more disbalance or disharmony with what you currently attract. So make sure to reflect on everything around you or everyone around you and ask yourself, are they, you know, like these golden nuggets supporting my growth, supporting me to be balanced and, you know, to find structure into my life? And if so, then great that shows that you're doing great already and if not then some adjustment which is also what the two of pentacles talks about like finding balance or adjusting things and making different choices will lead you towards manifesting your goals and all that you want so really reflecting on that aspect will really change your life and change how your manifestations will be so let's continue with this deck and by the way i'll be looking some cards I'm using. Those who are not appearing are just handmade, which is why you're not linked down below. But just if you're interested, there will be some of them. <laughs> so we'll see too many cards. All that you'll get, which is coming true. <laughs> I just saw 11, 11 in my third eye. So it could be all that you wish for or anything that you wish for while seeing 11, 11 could be what is coming your way. So let's see. Also becoming a star can be part of it. Finding balance with your finances can be part of it. Because this is really what is the symbolism for these two cards. And growth is what I see because I see the forest in the background of this card. I'll show you quickly. Like right there. You can see the trees, the pine trees appearing. Even the motion is announcing that magic. And this is the ray of your own inner star shining bright. So that is a glow up to me. A glow up and recognizing all your potential, your talents. And now honoring this inner star within you and becoming a star. Being recognized, being seen is what I do see. But growth is part of it. So let's see with this deck more about your wishes coming true so productivity and emotion i love this because emotion is energy in motion and we talked about taking actions developing things you know starting to really build a plan and direction for the future and this also is going to be translated with your emotions so the way you feel is you know, understood by the universe as like a demand or how is your current frequency. And this current frequency of emotion is what you attract even more. And what I see is cancer energy on these two. So we can be a cancer, we talked about Aquarius, this is earth sign as well. But that can also be the energy uh, for you guys and also what you are manifesting. So I see emotional balance needed to be attracting all that you desire. So for example, if your finances are not as satisfying as you really want them to be, then this is telling you to also adjust emotionally and be more productive so you can get more result. You know, you don't get anything without also putting a little bit of work towards it. So that tells you finding more balance and working on you know, feeling good is going to attract actually what you want. And also when you feel good, I'm sure you notice that you tend to be a magnet of things you really, really, you know, are passionate about or just that you value in life. So this is the formula of success to you. Feeling good, clearing your space is also what I see. You can smudge it. You can also use sound to clear it or just say your prayer, open your windows when you do that, please. So you can also allow a way out for energies or entities or anything that is stuck in your environment so they can get out of it. So maybe sp smudging, smudging, what? Uh, smudging or you can even clear the space with just um, like sound you can find on YouTube, clearing sounds, they are so easy to find. So you can use that. And for productivity, like I said, working on something. And when I said that, I saw 10 and 0, 1, which is a mirrored clock. So it could be what you provide is coming back as like a mirror to you. And being productive towards it is going to create the result that you want. So this is really the energy. Number eight is appearing, which is about infinite power. But that can also be having all the strength, energy and determination to make all that you want happen. If your goal is to become a star, 
go ahead, build that and believe in yourself. If your mind is set on success and you know you can do it, nothing is going to stop you. The only thing stopping you in your reality is yourself. And I know some people, they don't want to be responsible for being blocked, but you are responsible. So find a way, first liberate yourself emotionally, find balance within yourself, have a direction, know what you want, and be productive, take action, and you'll see the magic manifesting for you. So being productive is very important. And I see dreams manifesting with, you know, the two cards showing the moons. So your dreams will be manifesting. Just align emotionally to them. Be productive, work on them, so you can see the magic happening naturally. Cancer season can be a very powerful season for you. Maybe more money will come around that time. Um, the Aquarius season was a very important season for you to build the dream, to know where you want to go. And because this was really the start of this year, January, it was really showing you what you was wanting to build for 2022. And this itself, like setting goals, intentions. And if you haven't done the work, it's okay. You can still do it and plan for this year or the rest of this year. So you can just attract it because this reading is timeless. That's why I'm saying anytime you're watching this, this is the calling feature work on your purpose and on really what is attracting you. So let's continue. Oh, and for the numbers, I didn't talk about them, but two represents unity, so becoming one or you can be attracting somebody. Number four talks about commitment, so that shows if you want something, you have to commit to it. You have to really work towards that with strength and determination without stopping anything. Stopping yourself is not part of that formula I'm getting here if you want success. And number eight, like I said, is about infinite power. We did talk about cleansing and clearing and smudging the energy and that can just be smudging yourself to actually free blocked emotions. You can do it with sound as well if you have a bowl. You can actually use this bowl to create sound and clear actually the clutter within you. We can just pray, meditate, um, script about how you feel so you can purge out everything and while it's on the paper, you can even rip the page and burn the page as like a release of emotion. It's like I dissociate myself from that story and I become brand new. And maybe after this exercise, if you do it, what you can do is to write on a new page who you want to be today. So you can work towards it. You know, having a plan and a vision and even writing it is a good way to visualize yourself or to visualize your goals and the direction you're taking. So cleansing and maybe saying goodbye to the past self or to the memories or emotions which could be cluttered um, and cluttered in ways that's like stopping you to manifest what you truly desire. If you want to get it, go get it, pretty much. And also make sure that anything going against what you want to get is being released. And that is you telling, you, telling the universe and telling yourself, no, it's over, it's over, I don't need this, this is not serving me in any way. So. Thank you for being here and manifesting in my existence so I can become aware. But now I decide to actually move on and say goodbye to anything that is stopping me to be a star, to shine brightly. The star can also represent a light worker. So maybe that's part of your mission and purpose. And this is why you are meant to transition towards a new chapter and saying goodbye to the past is going to be that necessary step to lead the way towards it. Spring season is gonna be a very impactful season for you guys. It's like transformation for you, rebirth and growth, which is also what the, the nature is going through during that season. You know, from that stagnant energy of like, we go back to our roots and we don't grow much, after the sun is here and supporting our growth and like, yes, I want to become brand new. And you may feel the same inspiration with the flow and energy and atmosphere from spring. So cleansing, decluttering, so you can be growing after that. Let's continue. <laughs> but so far, the energy, you guys, is crazy. So I have a bit too many cards. I'm going to shuffle back to see what is coming for you. Group number one. What you'll get. Adventures. I love it. I mean, you are ready for that. You're ready for this new adventure, new energy and something fresh to be offered to you. So this new adventure is leading you to something completely new. And I believe you cannot even picture how grand this will be because you are meant to be a star. You are meant to shine so bright. You are meant to really glow up and grow up and bloom to become the best person ever to your higher self standard. 
let's say. And this is why this will lead you towards new adventures. Some will be uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie, this is what I heard, but this is the most rewarding adventure ever. Not everything is meant to be comfortable, your growth is meant to also challenge yourself in the process to prove yourself you are bigger than this, you're stronger than this, and you have that, you know, capability to actually attract and manifest all that you want related to your wishes. You know, if you look at the people you admire, the people that inspire your being, the stars that you like, for example, the celebrities that you admire, they went through so much to be on the spotlight, and this is what you can see with the spotlight here, and maybe this is your purpose, and this is why you need to be productive and to work towards that, you know, just like them. You know, it didn't happen just by magic, a little bit of it, of course, but still, they were working towards it. Some people, before even becoming a star, they work like 10 years or more than this and practice and practice and practice to actually be in that position. And I think of especially Bang Chan, which is appearing on this card, you know, he went through that phase of learning for so many years before debuting. So it could be the, the case as well. So don't be too sad or don't be like, I want to give up if you don't get results like in a few weeks or a few months or even in a few years. Sometimes this is what you need to actually grow as a person so you can be prepared for that big success. And the next one is freedom. It's kind of funny because <laughs> I just talked about Chani and then he appears again. Okay, so these adventures will bring freedom. The way that you will be living and declaring your space, your relationships and life will lead you towards that big freedom. And freedom can be related to money, freedom to work on your own business, freedom to shine brightly, freedom to be yourself, to shine and to just express yourself fully. I just see you entering a phase of true authenticity. You're not lying anymore, you're not pretending anymore and you don't want to because it is like, you know, putting yourself in a little box and condemning yourself to live there when you're supposed to live freely, when you're supposed to have adventures and also find these challenges so you can find balance along the way and find structure as well. So this is really the phase you are manifesting, supporting you to become stronger, to attract bigger things. So celebrate that change actually. So let's see more signs. So photography can be part of it or that can be making good memories. If you have someone, maybe you have a picture of this person around you, rather it's a phone screen or someone, I don't know, on your desk or around you, maybe posters on the wall. These could be people inspiring your own self and also guiding you towards your true journey and calling. That can be the sign. But if you want to be, for example, behind a camera or in front of a camera, or if you just want to create content online, this can be the sign for you to go ahead and do it. I mean, I see spotlight, I see fame, I see money, I see productivity. I see people connecting to you emotionally and also, you know, screen or maybe internet as well. Let's see another hint for this group. What is the energy? Fashion can be part of it too. We have the sewing machine, I think that's how you call that. Um, so maybe fashion is part of it or maybe you might have a love for fashion. Maybe you will create a business, for example, selling um, clothes or products or anything like that. So this could be the sign. And if you want to also sell and also have, you know, you know your own business with closing, maybe promoting it on social media can be a way for you to gain more balance with money um, and also to reach people. It could be your community afterward. But if you want to be a model, that can also be the association with fashion and picture. That can be also your sign. <laughs> so let's see more about your future and what you'll get. You are a superhero, save yourself, yes! And this is all that we talked about. You know, cleansing, saying goodbye, releasing the past and memories and emotions, stopping you to be and become the star. So you're a superhero. Save yourself, like really give yourself the chance that you deserve. Give yourself 
that opportunity as well to live the life that you aim for. Don't stop yourself. Don't believe so little about what you can achieve or who you can become. No, and if you do, it is probably because you just gave too much importance and meaning to what people say about you. The chatter, the story is not even defining 1% of your true potential. And I talk from experience, okay? If I listen to my parents or the people around me, I would feel like I am nothing, I am worthless. But because I thought different and because I worked towards my mastery and what I was really passionate about, I was able to actually manifest my own success and keep on growing. Thanks to you guys, by the way, so thank you. But without you trusting yourself and believing yourself, I don't even believe success is possible. It has to start with you believing in your true superpower. Really. So please believe. <laughs> Let's see another one from this deck. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> While I was just saying perfect, perfect, I guess I'm just channeling the energy already and then I'm like freezing in front of the card because it's so connected. So you are already perfect. And it's very connected to what I said before that even because I said you have to see your true potential. You have to define who you are by your own standard and not listen to the noise and to whatever people have to say about you because it's not going to be always supportive. It's not going to be always very, you know, you know bringing that strength within you. But if it is, great, then you are surrounded by the right people. But you are already perfect. You can get it. You know, you can manifest all that you want. So let's continue with the runes. And I saw two, 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 two while saying that. So you can be manifesting a lover. So let's see the energy, magic, stability, and dream. And I said, you are manifesting your dreams, finding that stability. We talked about this too. And magic is so connected to the star. You know, it's like, I manifest it. I create it. And that's because you believe in yourself. That's because you work towards what you want. So magic, stability, and dreams. There could be a constraint, which I think is why the cards were showing you to release anything like a clutter or from the past or emotion and memory stopping you to create what you want. So say goodbye to that. The constraints, they can also be challenges to make you grow, you know, to make you become a master because you keep on pushing, keep on learning. And if I'm being honest, I never stop learning. Even these days, I still watch videos about TikTok to grow out there, to reach more people, to connect with more people, because that's my purpose. I just want to grow with the people and bring positivity and help you guys to manifest your best life. This is the real purpose of me doing YouTube videos and TikTok. And so I still learn about YouTube, TikTok, and, and more, because I am passionate about it, but also I feel it never really stops, and we never really know everything, so it's always good, and even if you know a lot of things, still having that refresher, as like the information that you need again to, you know, absorb or just to become aware of, it. like, oh, I knew it, right, I need to implement that, maybe you forgot about this, so... Yes, these constraints can be the challenges that you need to be growing. Just saying. And trust me, anytime I feel the urge to learn, it's because I am not so satisfied or I am just experiencing a little bit of a challenge. So that's a way for me to just open my perception and also bring back the power so I can just change the energy. So I'm going to be now picking some tiny messages for you guys. Maybe some guidance or announcing what is coming next for you. So let's see. <clears throat> Take time to make your soul happy. Yes, it is not just about always working, always being predictive, <laughs> but also finding some time to connect with yourself. Look, be silly, be honest, be kind. And here, just a gentle reminder to open up that big, beautiful heart of yours today. So these were the messages and guidance. Let's continue. I'm going to continue with the charms and then the stickers. So let's see where the charms, what is coming for you, what will be manifesting so we can get it.
there are so many letters. So I can see maybe a word and oops, a guidance. Or maybe a place you want to visit, for example. Or that can also be like for example, I think of doctor for that. So maybe that's the target for you. I think of war as well. So maybe bringing peace. If your mind is also very agitated, it could be healing your mind as like a code. Let's see and mix them so maybe we can see something different. I don't know why. I have the Dynamite song from BTS <laughs> when I actually saw that. Maybe that's a sign as well. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Maybe taking notes. Maybe scripting. Journaling can be helping you to manifest. Ask yourself why. Why you started or why you want to start. What is the real cause of you doing the things you feel called to do? Or why do you want to be this person? What is the value you see in becoming this person? Because when you have a deep reason and meaning behind what you do, and especially if this is really supportive and positive, it will always be supported. So it can be attracting more of it. I see love, success and empowerment with these. The ego can also talk about your soul, your spirit calling you for something grand. Maybe that's about that, that success or about this person that is meant to be a lover. Let's see with the stickers now. More about your future, all that you'll get. Okay, long time no see. You can be manifesting someone back. Maybe someone with a friend or may have connected to you in the past. Maybe that's on a soul level too. You know, that can be a soulmate, for example. Becoming your, be becoming your best. Being rewarded is what I see. Being amazed. Can you look at the energy? It's so positive and also uplifting. So you can keep on pushing. Your angels are manifesting wonders with you. Just know that this is divine and supported divinely. Everything will be okay, as you can tell. And music can be part of the healing that you need, or this can be related to your calling, or maybe to the person, because I saw love with the heart. Maybe that lover can also be in the music industry, or liking music, or liking to play, or liking the same type of band and music. I mean, we have Haikon here. I was talking about... Um, BTS before, so it could be the sign for you guys. So this is the reading. I hope you like it. If you do give it a thumbs up, you can also write I claim and follow to manifest this destiny, this magic faster. And yes, I will see you guys next time to get care of your crystal souls. Bye-bye. Group number two, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I straighten my faith in the love of the universe. This is your affirmation. You can use it also to manifest what you want right now. So a sense of quiet, and that is quieting, is it how you say it? I'm not sure. Quiet the mind, I mean. Quiet the mind, your heart, maybe your body. And just connect with source, with energy around you, with the universe. That's how you straighten your faith and also provide yourself more love from the universe. But I see support for you. People cheering or supporting you and also honoring your growth because I see all the, um, the leaves around. And because I see a lot of green, bluish hands, it could be people operating and supporting you because they love you. And I said that because green color is the heart chakra. The other colors I see is blue, so that can also be the throat chakra, communicating with you or you communicate something to them. And for the other colors, I see that related to money and relationships. So it could be what is supported and what you'll get as supporters, providing you abundance or just support or maybe providing you wisdom with their voice and knowledge, but also that love that is coming from them. So with the other cards, first, okay, that's really why you have a lot of people around you. <laughs> um, so first we have the five of wands and the five of wands talks about competition. Okay, don't be afraid about it. It is just that in order for you to challenge yourself to grow and to improve, you will have to also go through that competitive energy. And this is actually very good too. You know, try to 
celebrate that. Celebrate the fact that you're being challenged and that you're being pushed to become stronger, to become better and to show that you have so much to offer. So there's a little bit of brokenness with the wounds, but the one standing is you. This big wound right here and the crystal ball on top is pretty much presenting your higher self and also who you can be and who you are supposed to become as a person. So keep on going. If you wanted to give up and you know you may be watching this this video as confirmation that you can make it, this is your sign. You'll be supported. You'll be attracting a community or supporters and people around you for you to become strong, for you to become seen and successful because this is part of your destiny. And I'm sure I'm actually <laughs> pointing at this crystal ball with this crystal ring. I'm not sure if you can see that, um, but this is a crystal ball in the hands. It's kind of like this is your prophecy, my friend. This is what you came here to experience. And people will be supporting you to shine. They'll support you to keep on fighting towards your real destiny, towards what is really meant for you. So make sure to have a clear vision. That's why the crystal ball. Clear vision, clear purpose, so you can be attracting that faster. And along the way, yes, you'll be challenged. Yes, it's not going to be the easiest road for you, but this is going to be what really empowers yourself, what really makes you who you're supposed to be, to welcome more abundance, more power and more recognition with what you built at the moment. So you are meant for grand things and the universe knows that, which is why you need to quiet the mind with doubts and worries and fears so you can just move freely towards what is really meant for you and you have that potential you're standing strong here so no doubt about it some people maybe around you they cannot take it and maybe some days you feel like you cannot take it yourself but the next day you wake up and you're like i survived this i made it you know i am still here i still believe i still hope for the best and this is this itself is just the magic that you need to build what you want so go get it, my friend. You get this. <laughs> so then we have temperance, which is very, very connected in a way that's like, you got this. Okay, I think this reading is pretty much for the people which were about to give up and like, or a bit doubtful. It's like, yeah, it's too good to be true. Nah, 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 nah. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not. And this is reachable for you to live this life. Okay, if people around you are telling you, no, you cannot make it or you dream too big or this is nonsense, whatever, this is their nonsense. That's it. This is their own limited vision. But if you are limitless, your life is going to be like this too. The universe matches your own energy, your own mind as well, which is why they're telling you, you know, I let an inner, an inner sense of quiet multiply each day. And that means I do not let my you know, limited beliefs or mindset stop me from achieving what I am supposed to. I am an earth angel here. I came here to provide. Yes, there's a little bit of duality with, you know, yin and yang. Even this one is appearing at the top right there. And this tells you what? This tells you you are made of duality. In order for you to success, to succeed, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> to be that success. Uh, in order for you to succeed, you'll need to fail. You'll need to adjust. You'll need to grow. You'll need to find that balance too, which is the temperance card. Finding harmony, balance into your life. And this is achieved by you trying, by you, you know, failing at times and succeeding at times and knowing what works and what doesn't work or what is high on demand because I see you supported and what is just not high on demand. And that's okay. I know that sometimes we put so much faith and meaning into our project and it fails and you feel like oh no i'm worthless or no i'm not good enough it is not about it it could be just not your mission or it could be not what is high on demand right now because everything always changes and evolve and you have to evolve yourself which is why i see you in an environment of challenge and learning for you to become strong and powerful enough to also experience that duality in ways that this is building you stronger, that this is making you become who you came here to be. 
and this will really empowers you as an earth angel. They were battles, but this helped you to grow and to bloom. And I'm saying that because right here you can see swords planted on the ground. It's like, you know, I really worked hard. I really fight or fought for what I really believed in. And thanks to that, now I can bloom. Maybe that's some investment too. Working hard and then all the money you gain with that, investing that money that is blooming naturally. So money making money for you. That can be the goal for you as well. So providing and being provided is what I see because you give, so you receive. And this is why people are now coming to you, are attracted to you because you do provide value, which aligns with your own destiny too. And that's why I see you as an earth angel or light worker or here on a mission. You can be a star seed, you can be, you know, an ancient soul, whatever the, whatever the label you actually associate yourself to. It can be a cosmic being, an earth angel, an angel here actually on earth, which is totally possible and beyond. So this is what I see as part of your mission and also reminding you of your true potential to get what you want. So dream big because this is also part of your prophecy. I see recognition, celebration, I see growing, finding structure, balance, manifesting a divine counterpart, which is why, you know, that duality, even, even the light was flickering when I said that, so that is just confirmation from spirits telling you, yes, and again, yes, indeed, you are manifesting rather a soulmate or twin flame, and this is part of the prophecy, and this is why, why you are being pushed to work on something that is really important and meaningful for the soul and you know deep down what you are supposed to do what you're supposed to create and build so let's see more signs about what you'll get it's a bit too many cards i just want two of them so let's see what will come for you guys what you can get right now So the first is hope. <laughs> ah, it's so connected. You know, quiet your mind, believe in yourself, keep on fighting, show them. You know, show them because I know you have people around you doubting yourself, telling you you're not good enough, telling you you cannot make it. Show them. And don't do this for them. Do it for you because you deserve that success because you deserve to be experiencing positivity, which is a symbolism with the, how do you call this in English? Daffodil, daffodil, yes, I guess. <laughs> so this is actually the hope, the positivity, that bright sun you are manifesting. To me, they represent success. And I see support, and we saw that support with the people, the hands all around you. So support with the branch. It's like when you see the birds landing on it, it's safe. And this is safe for you. So hope for the best. Hope for the magic to come for you. And with all the leaves around, this I see as growth. So you're supposed to grow, but in order for you to develop things, trusting yourself, hoping for the best is going to be the formula for you to attract what you want. Taurus energy could be a sign for you as well, um, as a way for you to know this could be your pile. Then we add fire sign. Temperance is temperance connected to your sign. Hmm... I think it is Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken. So it could be Sagittarius, Taurus, and fire energy. Let's see, let's see one more from this deck. And then I have more to come, of course, to see what you'll get. What is part? Still too many cards. <laughs> so generous spirits are. Let's see. Perfect. 11. You can see 11, 11 as a wish coming true too. Could be your sign and cancer energy here. Transition. So, and I believe you are making that transition. We saw this after the war comes that blooming aspect. That duality is a transition towards a new energy. And this is what you're claiming for and hoping for, praying for. Because the candle to me represents what we pray and ask for and also what we get. Which is why 11.11 is a wish coming true. And that's because we hope for that. And again, we 
can connect everything together. It's like what you claim and call for, you receive. What you give, you are provided, you know, with the giving and receiving energy. And what you hope for, you make that transition and set in, in your reality. Dreams will come true as well. Success is part of it. I see the stars here. And for the cauliflower, I see it as like something, you know, being offered, continuous, continuously growing in your reality. So this could be what you are offered as a transition. More growth, more support, more celebration, more recognition if this is what you want. Too many cards. Please, two cards. Okay, this one wants to come because it was like, I don't want to come back there. Uh, so universe, and we saw the universe loving you, supporting you. So have faith in yourself, in the love of the universe to manifest more of it. So the universe is supporting you, supporting you, and also guiding you towards a new path. I see yourself accompanied here. So this is not supposed to be a lonely journey. And if you've been in hermit mode or just focusing on yourself, this is good. This is what you needed. Now you need to be connecting more with the people around you. You need to learn more, to vibe more, to learn maybe more from the people as well. It doesn't have to be just physically. You can learn from people online, but find your tribe. The universe is supporting you to continue to ascend toward what is meant to be for you, but to not stay alone or to not believe you have to learn everything on your own. It's not supposed to be this way. Actually, we grow faster thanks to the knowledge and influence of others. So please do so. Allow yourself to connect. Allow yourself to be accompanied. I cannot make that up. For real, it's so beautiful how everything is just connecting. And this happens so many times in the readings. I do. And I'm always like, wow. Um, so communion, <laughs> this is why you need to be connecting. And you'll be attracting your tribe. You'll be attracting your community. That's why communion and I saw yourself accompanied and celebrated on these cards. So yes, this is part of your journey. You're not meant to be celebrating alone. You're not meant to stay alone. And if you kind of, you know, told yourself because you may not have, you know, friends around you or people to talk to or family supporting you or understanding you, it's okay. And I believe you were meant to be this little black ship or just this, you know, this very unique person because thanks to you and you being unique and authentic to your truth, you'll be attracting real people. You know, the people here for you, celebrating you, loving to be in your presence or receiving a message from you. And that can be a community online, a community with your business, clients coming for you, or just people around you connecting as friends or just even strangers. They'll feel that magnetic energy from you because you are different, because you have something different as well to offer. And they love that. They need that, actually. And they just want to get more of it. So... Keep on celebrating. I see a new door opening for you. You're living a place of comfort. It's kind of like you leave this castle and walk on this new path to find a new community or to find a new place. And this is the transition we talked about. Maybe travel can also be part of it because transition as the card, I, and I think of the six of um, sword I, or wand, I forgot. Oh, anyways, <laughs> this is just that tra transition, symbolism and, symbolism and travel, which could be part of what the universe is presenting to you. Let's see more, more cards and see what you will get. But so far, travel, magic, the universe supporting you, amazing people coming for you. Ooh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm just, I'm just going crazy with this fitting. Unity. <laughs> and that can be unity with your community. But that can also be, like I said, divine counterpart, twin flame or soulmate. Because we saw this yin and yang, which is, which is for me a symbolism I see for twin flames especially. But it could be a soulmate too, because I saw your soul tribe and community and unity here. If you also want to be creating a business, having people working with you, could be the next step for you. Or if you want to just have fans and supporters, then this is also part of your formula of success. And this is what you, you are attracting. 
Dude, stop. What is behind? Selecting me? I guess that's the sign here. Dude, dude stop selecting me. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, but I think you are targeted. People want to select you. People want to be around you. You cannot stop it. Sorry. <laughs> so Unity, let's see next. Okay. Be raw. Yes, be raw. Be raw, be authentic, be true, be yourself. And you came here to be this person. And that's why some people, you know, you'll get on their nerve. You, you will just trigger something within them. And that's because you are meant to. And trust me, very strong and ancient spirits, they tend to really bring, you know, emotions or uh, like something a bit uncomfortable for others. And this is because they are meant to be the trigger. They are meant to be the, you know... The catalyst, pretty much, is like, I manifest a change, and I manifest a change within you, and this is going to bring a lot within you, so you got this. <laughs> and you can be a light worker yourself, which is why you see the duality. You bring the best, but also the, 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 sh the shadow aspect within people. And I talk from experience, I'm a person like that, and I'm a healer, which is 11, as a path life number, which could be a path life number too. And which is probably why you do trigger people or bring positive and negative within people they can really you know start to confess to you open up to you without you even asking for that because your energy feels like this mother type of energy like they feel nurtured they feel safe with you which is a very very strong skill and ability that you have so celebrate it but be raw be authentic this is what is needed now let's see more signs related to what you manifest. So divine timing is what I see. Things will come at the right time. You cannot force it. And that's the same with unity with your soulmate or counterpart or twin flame. Whoever you're waiting for and you know is meant for you. The perfect time will be part of it. And I know it can be boring to wait, but sometimes waiting is a gift because you can work on yourself, work on success, work on important things before being completely ready for what is offered to you. And that is the same with anything coming into your life. The universe will check on you and see if you are ready for the miracles you want to manifest. Because if you're not, this can be very destructive and not helping you actually. So if you experience some delay or resistance, then work towards becoming your best to manifest what you want. Become what you want to be. Become the person who can receive that and look around you for inspiration too. So divine timing. And I talked about a trip <laughs> and this is again very connected with the airplane or helicopter, not too sure what, no, no, I don't think so, I think it's the ancient looking airplanes, and maybe that's about you, if you want to be traveling to a certain place, or working in a certain country, a certain city, you can also be taking the airplane to go there, but what I see as a code is like, things taking off for you because now is the time for you to be uniting and celebrating because here it's a little party with others celebrating life celebrating just being on earth together having the the best time ever all together on earth with what you do with who you are with the people around you as well so this is part of what you are attracting. So things taking off, working for you, or travel. If you feel called to go somewhere, whether it's because you want to be meeting somebody from a certain place, or maybe because you feel this is where you are expected to work, where you're needed on earth, then this could be the sign. Now let's see with this deck. And then I'll be continuing with the other techniques. Right, so the first one is show them who you truly are. <laughs> this is why be raw, be authentic, show them who you truly are, show them they were wrong, tell you you were worthless or not good enough or whatever the chatter was. And now this is because you believe in yourself, now this is because you, you know, you quiet the noise around you, and you know, this is not serving you in any way, so why even listening? To that or to them no listen to you know this intuition what this is telling you 
in here and now you see the crystal ball again yes you will achieve your dreams no doubt about it you'll get it okay so go get it keep on working towards them you were meant to live the dream life you are meant to be satisfied with you know everything you can actually accomplish and you are meant for grand things i told you that in the beginning and this is why this card pop is like confirmation yes indeed you can manifest your dreams let's see now with the runes what you'll get okay so there's a bit of mystery <laughs> a little bit of mystery because you don't need to know everything and i think that's also what you want you you do want to be surprised and we have blessings and joy coming for you with this one so this is the energy let's continue with tiny messages some guidance message maybe take another one okay two of them i would rather to disappear no i would like to disappear for a while okay so even though we see a lot of like community being around people you will need that phase of like going back to yourself being alone for a little while to quiet the mind to also find your strength in the process to find faith in you in the universe and i do also need these times of like i need to be alone i need to you know think or just be around nothing no one <laughs> no noise nothing just maybe just taking a piece of paper a pen and starting to write what is coming through because all that is coming to the surface is something you need to know or become aware of or you need to address and adjust so you can also be changing your life so i would like to disappear for a while and if so that can be traveling to a certain place taking some time for yourself you need that you're perfect just the way you are. So just be happy. Yes, yeah, celebrate. Be happy about it. Um, and whatever you are, be a good one. Really, the focus on, is on yourself. Like, recognize you're perfect. Be happy about it. Whatever you are or whatever you want to be, be a good one. And if you need some space and disappear, yes, do it. And if this is about disappearing from social media, then, you know, remove or just turn off your phone for a few hours or a few days even and go back to yourself this is so necessary and i know we live in a world where in a world where we are stimulated all the time and you know we feel like we always have to be connected no we have to be connected to ourselves in the very first place so we can know intuitively and with more awareness, what is really important for us and not what is projected in our reality as distractions or content or, you know, people talking to us. Yes, receiving knowledge. And we saw that community being important. But sometimes unplugging is so healing. So if you feel guided to do so, then do it. All right, so let's continue. I'm going to pick now this, the charms and then the stickers to see what is coming for you so starting with the charms what you'll get <laughs> and i saw you know with the um, temperance card receiving and you know i mean giving and receiving like i get it this is what she gets and what she gives and here can you see what you receive right there with the poem? Yes, you are about to receive and this is meant for you to receive. So what I see is faith or like anything you pray for. If you are religious, that can talk to you personally. And we have the queen, the, I mean the princess crown. So empowerment, success, recognition, faith. This is what you get. Now, with the other one, so OV can be signs, maybe a letter, um, I mean letters, initials representing a place, a person. I see success with your studies, or maybe that's if you are working, studying, continuing to learn things. And if I'm being honest, I never stop learning. To not say I even feel even more passionate to learn now than ever before. Because I learn about my passion and things I'm really, you know, 
attracted about and curious about. So you should do the same. Whether you are still studying or not studying, I think it never stops. And it should not stop because you're always and constantly growing as a person. And we need these informations and we need that community or people around us to really provide us new you know, new ways of thinking, new ways of seeing things and possibilities. So keep on connecting and learning. But if you are planning to, or if you will be um, you know, passing some exams very soon, it could be success or being accepted to the university that you want could be the sign too. Handmade, so maybe you are meant to create something. I see the universe and angels manifesting all that you want, all that you dream about, you'll get it. Dreams can also be a way for you to know what is coming next. So pay attention to them. I see a hug. Maybe in those dreams you can be hugging somebody too. VO. This I think of, you know, voiceover. Um, maybe that's your work. Or maybe you want to also spread your voice to be a messenger, to be someone who communicates something important. Now let's continue with our stickers to see what is going to manifest what you will get. Alright, good things take time and we saw the clock before. So yes, divine timing is going to be part you know, of you manifesting good things. Be patient, stoked on life. And with the wave, I see that as success. And, you know, I'm stoked, I'm excited, I'm passionate. And you should feel like this. If your life is not exciting, if you just don't have energy when you wake up every morning, or not really having so much passion, you're not living life the way that you're supposed to. You're not probably surrounding yourself but with the right people. You're not probably doing something you're really passionate about or studying about something that you're passionate about. So if you're not stoked, then you need to be. You need to find a way to make life exciting again. Do you want to face life? You choose. I think it's a wake-up call. as like, it is time. Do something you are, you know, animated about, stoked about. Face life. Do anything you want. Add anything you want here. So you are capable to manifest all you desire. I see maybe a partner as like a business partner, but I see love as well. Maybe coming out of it. Or you can be a power couple and learn from each other. We have a flower shop. So maybe having a shop together for the flower as a symbolism. And we saw this with temperance too. Fighting for this garden to bloom. This could be the success that you guys grow together. And the fact that you guys grow you know, with that business. I say you guys, but this can also be just you alone, you know, working on a business. And I see you blooming, actually. So all that you want to be creating. And if you're still studying, that can be success with your studies, you know, and blooming things that becoming, you know, wiser and uh, more knowledgeable as well. This is this, this aspect. So this is the reading for you. I hope you like it. If you do give it a thumbs up, you can also write I claim and follow to manifest this energy faster. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye-bye. Group number three, let's see the energy for this one. So the message is, I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries that protect my good feeling emotions. And that can be one affirmation you repeat over and over again to program you and to manifest kindness, love towards you and others and also create what you want. I see boundaries as well. So protection is going to be needed. And this is what you see in all the circles around, which is what is protecting you to feel better because we have feel emotions like good emotions so that was the message now let's continue with the tower cards so the first is the ace of wands the ace of wands talks about creativity and what i see is that you are receiving a lot of codes a lot of inspiration if you do journal and script more power to you, my friend, because I do see you attracting all that you script about, write about, plan about. If you have, you know, especially if you write your vision, write your goals, write your dreams, and you keep on maybe reading them or, you know, 
maybe writing them over and over again, that is what is scripting your reality, manifesting out of your mind. And this is what really this card is all about, telling you if you want to change the script of this universe or the script of this life, you have to script about it, be precise with what you want to be attracting. And if you never scripted before, which is pretty much writing in the present tense as like, I am, let's say, I am successful, I am rich, I am loved, I am supported, people recognize that I am the best, anything you want to aim for, you know, positive affirmations, which is all also what I do with subliminal, with my subliminal channel I created, and maybe you can use subliminal yourself to be, you know, programming the mind to manifest positivity into your life. So that can be a way for you to do so. But you can also do it, and this is very powerful, to write your affirmations and to also manifest the power, you know, that you are supposed to be attracting and experiencing in your reality. So a new chapter is starting for you that connect with all that you want, all that you wish for, all that you claim for, and the universe is kind of like the matrix, you know, manifesting these codes in your reality so you can be experiencing them. So you are the creator. Now, if you are a creative person, this is also the sign to keep on creating, providing, writing your story this way. And then, okay, I'm going to talk about these two together because they're very connected. So seven of cups and the queen of cups. And I say they are connected because yesterday while shuffling the cards, I was like, this is really combined as a message because this card is all about what you claim for, wish for, and all that you manifest as dreams. This is what you get. And this is because you are a powerful creator. You're a powerful queen or a king. And of course, this is what is allowing yourself to be experiencing the dream on earth. You're blessed, trust me. The universe wants the best for you. And this is why clear boundaries and protection and feeling good and being kind to yourself and others will be the formula for you to be attracting that positive energy, these wonders into your life. So yes, I see you attracting all that you want, all that you wish for, all that you put on your priority list, all that you know is really important for you. And this is because you see yourself as someone who is able and worthy to attract these things. You see yourself as the queen. You see yourself as the king. So of course, that tells the universe, I deserve it and I am it. I am already in that power. I am already in alignment with the power I attract, with the power I claim for because all is mine. And this is why I'm telling you scripting and affirming every day is actually very positive. And if you don't want to do it consciously, like I said, you can use subliminal, tracks to program your mind toward that success or towards maybe change with your physical aspect and body or it can be different but this is also what i'm trying to do with my other channel and what i want to provide to you guys so if you want to make sure to be part of this other family so we can all grow into our best self and provide to our mind the the script and the codes that we need to better our life and to attract the results that we truly want and deserve. So this is what I do see for these two cards. Magic, dreams, manifesting for you because you know you are deserving of them and believe in your potential. See yourself as this important figure so you can just be in perfect alignment with who you're supposed to be in order for you to get what you are claiming for. Because Let's say, you know, you want to be rich, you want to be a millionaire, but you see yourself as a broke ass kid. This is not going to work this way if you do, um, you know, if you do picture yourself like that. So what I would do is start to see myself as the rich man, to see myself, you know, as an abundant person who provides value and is provided value back. You know, try to see what you can offer. So you can be receiving back because you're worthy of receiving back too. It is not just you being the provider. No, you are worthy of being provided. You are worthy of, you know, receiving. And this is also what you need to tell the universe. Because I know you are someone very giving because for me, the Queen of Cups is someone very nurturing and peaceful and loving. And they, this person this character really loves to provide and make people feel good to the point that sometimes they over give over provide but 
Finding balance is going to be also very important because I see that duality aspect with the two fish. Yin and yang energy, balance and duality will be part of what you attract. And I see you nurturing the fish as like, I create the magic. I create what I want and I am supported. And yes, you are. I see a community. I see the empire you are building because you have that potential to build all that you want. So for the cups, let's see the symbolism. Transformation with a butterfly is what I see. For the bird, I see a messenger. So it can be a messenger, but you can also receive um, a message from your spirit guides. Then with a the serpent, I see fertility. For the whale, I think of something deep within you, you know, like deep in the sea, something hidden, mysterious. The less it represents adaptability and change. And with the mice, this is about innocence and pureness. So maybe that's about the intentions behind you manifesting your wishes. So manifesting change, being a messenger of fertility, depth and mystery, adaptability and innocence, which are all the symbolism I can see on this one. And seven is a good number. That's actually the jackpot, luck number. So you are attracting that energy. Now let's see with the other cards what you'll be attracting and getting. Stimulation. <laughs> it's so funny how I talked about the matrix. And by the way, if you haven't seen my matrix themed reading, it could be that some messages may be connected to that one. So I would actually watch it too or rewatch it because you can actually receive another plus as a message because right now is a new time, a different time. But you are being stimulated to write again, I think. You know, this one popped for a reason because everything is connected. You know, the feather and the feather and stimulation. And I talked about the codes from the matrix, which is a stimulation, a simulation, you know, stimulating you to believe this is the reality. But this is just actually stimulating you so much that you believe it is real. What is just a simulation? So that's what I see. Um, and that's something that's spicing your life, that's spicing your experiences as a human self. So continue to write is what I'm getting because on these two you can see you know the feather as a tool to write because I see this as a as a pen or I'm not sure you call that in English and here you can see the ink so ink new pages write a new story and maybe that stimulation will come from you so the universe can catch your creation and be stimulated by it to create something spicy for you. Spicy can also talk about intimacy, so maybe that's part of it too. With the person you are with or the person you're attracting as a lover. Maybe scripting about that love can be a sign, so you can be attracting this person. Let's see more. And we had Aries energy, water sign, and did I talk... Is it the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Sword for this one? Now I'm confused. But I think it's the Wand energy. I'm gonna check just to be certain. <laughs> just to be sure. Yes, I was right. This is the Ace of Wands, as you can see here. So good idea, creativity, courage, and it's initiation. So that's also urging you to initiate this energy, to create yourself possibility and have the courage to do so. Let me see it back. Um, why did I check though? I forgot. Yeah, I just wanted confirmation, I guess. <laughs> uh, confirmation that this is actually the one's energy, which is that creative energy. And that's why you need to write this, this new page and be creative as well. So, oh yeah, that, that was for the sign too. So Aries, water and fire energy so far. And ritual, this is very powerful, very powerful and connected. We talked about scripting. Maybe ritual can be talking about what works for you, not just scripting or journaling and affirmations and subliminals. This can be if you know, meditating works the best for you, then continue to do that. Anything that really calls you is going to be the answer. Just know it. You know, for me, what works the best is scripting. Um, subliminal works like crazy. Um, but also, the best of the best is for me quantum jumping. And you have some meditations guiding you to it. I always, always suggest him. 
Um, so if you guys go and, and do his meditation, maybe comment about coming from my channel, that would be cool. Uh, so this is from Aaron Doty. Uh, he is actually guiding you towards that quantum jumping meditation, which I think is the most powerful one on YouTube that I tried at least, and uh, that really shift your reality instantly. Um, but I do that myself now. I don't personally listen to guided meditations because I love to do and guide myself with you know, how things just come to me because you have more freedom to do that. So if you are a master, if you're just very good at meditation in general, then maybe trying once with guided meditations, knowing how it's done and then do it yourself will be very powerful. But rituals, spells, meditation, scripting, um, quantum jumping, anything you feel go to, this will change your life. Also, because and I'm sure if you watch my videos for a long time, you may know. Uh, this reminds me of Pocahontas. And for me, the corn represents money. <laughs> because in one of the scenes, you know, uh, John Smith is actually asking her, do you guys have some gold here? And she actually takes that and say, the only gold that we have is that. And I, I was always, you know, I don't know, this is how I associated corn to be gold for me. And I just see yourself successful. That's why the queen is popping or a king energy. So you have the, that potential to be manifesting that success. Even Leo energy is a very bold and leader, um, confident figure. Even Aries, Aries sign actually in tarot is the emperor, which is the entrepreneur, you know, the leader as well. So very, very powerful um, energies here. And Leo as a card in tarot is the strength card, the courage. So you have that, <laughs> you have that available, use it right. So let's see, a bit too many cards, two cards please, otherwise this reading is going to be long. It's already long, I've been <laughs> talking for so long, but you know, it's meant to be. Wind, so wind announce change, or you can be connected to the wind spirit. There could be some accusation around you. Um, maybe actually parents telling you you're not working enough or you're not studying enough or you're not good enough and whatever. Now you have a choice and I see regain your throne. So yes, you have your choice to rather see from their perspective or from a queen king perspective because you know what you're meant to do. You know who you are, you, who you are meant to be. So these accusations are not valid and you should not give it meaning and importance if you know this is not valid. But if now you see that they are telling you that to wake up, then wake up. <laughs> so you can also be transitioning towards something new and write a new chapter. So the wind change and accusation can be that adjustment or stopping to receive and, you know, validate what people say. If this is just accusing you and making you feel bad about yourself or bad about what you do, when you know this is just right for you. Listen to your intuition more than the noise around because you can be questioning things. Yes, and that's okay. I think we all go through these phases of questioning things and, and questioning ourselves or um, maybe asking yourself, what is the plus I'm looking for? And maybe people can be the trigger, you know, the catalyst for us to become aware of what we need to adjust and change or shift or become. So this is always manifesting growth, honoring this beautiful energy of change. So questioning things. You need to be in that phase as well. And I kind of see the hermit energy as well as like reflection, finding answers, finding direction. And this is what will also allow yourself to write something new. And here I, I have seduction. So love is in the air. That's also why I could see that, you know, stimulation, spiciness. Also, if you want to get a spicy adult reading, I do them just for personal readings. You can find it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you are attracting someone who is really seduced and charmed by you. I mean, you are very seductive. Also, you have a lot to offer as a nurturing person and loving person, so they will find comfort within, you know, within that connection with you. So seduction will come or is here for a reason, cultivate it. Seduction also talks to me about a glow up, you know, feeling seductive, feeling beautiful, feeling good in your skin. So let's see more, more signs. 
So this can be a call, maybe calling each other, writing to each other. Again, the feather is appearing here. I guess I need to also say that the feather itself as a symbolism talks about our desires and dreams, what we want, what we think about constantly. And that can be the target, what you need to now attract in your life. So keep on writing, scripting, but you can be writing to a person. Maybe that was the code from the start, not just about scripting, but also writing or DMing, you know, the the new fashion way to do it, um, DMing this person or calling this person because I see the phone as like maybe the tool to do that. So a call, writing, and I see music here with a piano. So it could be part of your purpose or maybe you have a song popping in your mind. Maybe when you wake up, the first song that comes to your mind, especially if that comes naturally, there could be some type of message here in this song. So pay attention to that and the lyrics or if there's no real lyrics to it, how does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? So you can just know what is the message and the melody as like a, a messenger. So let's see more, more signs of the energy. Ah, I love it. So our way is up. Yes, indeed. And you could see that change, scripting, writing, writing a new chapter, a new story, becoming big, becoming stronger, courageous, you know, and going with the flow, with the wind. So you can also be stimulated and animated about something. And so you can also wish on that and manifesting your dreams. And also so you can become bigger, stronger and recognized as this powerful, impacting figure, the queen or the king. So your way is up, my friend. You came here for important things and you're supposed to now ascend. So that can be talking about spiritual awakening, spiritual ascension, you know, maybe getting to know what's really happening behind the scene as the matrix is showing up as the series movies that we can, you know, access. And I would suggest everybody, especially if you are a spiritual being, to watch the matrix and watch it with your soul, not the human self, because you're not going to understand the depth of it. Okay, so and even meditate before watching these movies and open, you know, your, your soul to it and allow things to just come naturally. Like trust me, when I watched the last matrix movie, I cried almost the entire movie because I, I felt it so much that it was awakening so many emotions within me. So it has to be this way. And any spiritual movies, which you know are calling you, they have to be seen with your soul. Because you can actually grow thanks to them and experience that level up and ascension, which is also what I see here. And here we have, you will be supported to the top. <laughs> I'm just reading it right now. This is why I'm actually mind blown because we saw our way is up, so that's to the top. And you came here to be a queen, you came here to be a king, so there's no questioning about it, actually. You are meant to be successful. You are meant to be seen. You are meant to be that impactful, important figure. And this is because you are needed. This is because your essence is needed here. And you have so much to offer. That's why. Okay, so keep on ascending. Such a beautiful energy. So let's see next with the runes. What you'll get, what is coming for you, so connected. So power and success. This is all that you attract. And if you're still studying, yes, this talks about your studies. This talks about the exams you'll go through, um, that you'll pass, you know. So that's the success and power I'm getting. But you are also a very powerful and successful person. You know, you don't have to achieve anything. This is just about your own energy. Let's see now tiny messages. Maybe guidance. Anything you need to know. There's a tweet from Hanbini. A winner is someone who gets up one more time when is knocked down down that's why accusation people are trying to really knock you down and you're like you know what i'm a winner i'm not going to let this affect me anymore i'm gonna stand up what a plot twist you were <laughs> i love this 
This can also talk about someone with a plot twist, as like manifesting as the, you know, the one because I see seduction, which could be the case. I found my life when I let it down. Yes, so reflecting on your life also, you know, kind of, it's like you project memories on the floor and kind of, okay, what am I, who am I, or how do I see myself as a person, as a character? Because you become the person you choose to be, okay? This is made by choices. And if you don't like the way you picture yourself or don't like who you are today, you can make different choices and become a new person. And that's the same with your life and events and things that were presented to you. And being a nice person means being nice to yourself as well. Yes, yes, yes. So these were... The messages, let's continue. I'm gonna now pull some charms and stickles, stickers, <laughs> and stickers for you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a, I'm a crackhead. So let's see. Charms. Okay, love is part of it. Love, success. And seeing things from above. And we saw, you know, ascending, growing, reaching the top. So you have to see from that perspective and not from where you are at. Because your goal is to go there, right? So try to see... And I, I think I said it in the beginning as well. I was like, if you want to be a, a billionaire, a millionaire, you have to think this way. Not to think from your perspective and current situation with money. But actually think and project yourself as... The one you want to be as your future self. That's very, very powerful. I also have a guided meditation, personal one that you can actually get um, in the description. And this is actually how to manifest money thanks to help of and thanks to the influence and messages from your higher self, so future self, which is a very powerful manifestation. So maybe you can use it as well. So H M X. So these can be codes and signs. Maybe you see um, initials from a person, from a city, from a word maybe that talks to you and relates to your purpose or what you need to do and what you'll get. For example, let's say you want a house, a home that can be home. Age and um, maybe you want to buy some fashion or be in the fashion industry. That can be a sign too. Um, what else? MX. Mm, 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 mm. That's especially what I see so far, but this will talk to you personally. Then for the numbers, three, four, eight. Three represents growth in ascension. Four represents com um, commitment and stability, security as well. So that can that can also announce balance and security with your money. And eight represents infinite power and fast manifestations. So love is coming, like I said, success and seeing from above to manifest the above <laughs> as simple as this is all right so now let's see where the stickers more about what you'll get <laughs> so far i really like the energy all right all right all right all right we talked about ascending to the top and this is you like taking up taking off Things taking off, so reaching a new level, the highest level. But that can also be announcing a travel, a trip, maybe flying to a new place. And this I see as huge skyrocketing success. Love is in the air. Blue represents the throat chakra, so a good communication with that lover is what I see as what makes you guys stick to each other. And a cheerful person, very encouraging person, Telling you you got this, you know, always connecting with you, telling you what's up. Yes, especially when you want to give up. I see this person telling you, no, you got this. Just believe. <laughs> believe, you got this. So dreaming and always. Maybe you have dreams that may present you what will come for you. With the unicorn, it could be a spirit animal, spirit guide. 
guiding you in other dimensions maybe in dream state as well towards that success towards that lover so if you have dreams connected to an experience especially if you do remind if you do recall i mean recall that dream this is a message for you okay you have to know that any dreams we tend to recall are actually meant to we are meant to interpret them understand them and that's something to do so if you want to also do readings related to dreams, if you want more clarity, of course, if you remember them, because, I mean, even if you don't remember them, I can tap into the energy and see what is the, the message behind them and what you're tapping into with these different dimensions. But you can do it yourself if you have tarot cards, you know, um, but interpret them. Take your time to wake up in the morning to understand what was the meaning or the teaching in those dreams, because these are experiences we have. And Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Maybe that relates to someone who was born during that time, or it could be, for me, Merry Christmas is a very giving season. So give to yourself, provide to yourself, or that can be with that manifestation because this reading is all about getting what you want, then gifting yourself what you want. You got this. So this is your reading, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. You can also write I claim and follow to manifest this energy faster, and I will see you guys in my next video.